update two on what is now the seventh Atlantic hurricane of the season, Hurricane Sam, which is located at 12.4 degrees north, 45.9 degrees west, and rapidly intensifying tonight, September 25th, 2021, of course, at midnight eastern time. Of course, it's a category two with winds of 100 miles an hour and a pressure of 982 millibars. It's moving to the west-northwest at about 14 miles an hour. Of course, there is no CDPS as no landfall is expected in the next three days. Here it is on the map, of course, uh, out to sea at the moment there. And its wind field is pretty small, 50 nautical miles on the north of quadrants, 40 on the southeastern, and then 30 nautical miles on the southwestern. Its radius of maximum winds is only 6 miles. It's 928 miles away from Barbados, 1071 from Dominica, 1131 from Barbuda, 1420 from San Juan, and 1824 away from Bermuda. In kilometers, that's 1494 from Barbados, 1724 from Dominica, 1820 from Barbuda, 2285 from San Juan, and of course 2935 away from Bermuda. Uh, of course, uh, we could be seeing a close pass to Barbuda sp uh, specifically, uh, so we'll be seeing what goes on with this. We have it at 100 miles an hour in agreement with the National Hurricane Center. Dvorak slightly higher with 105. SACON and SAB going with 85 miles an hour. ADT, AMSU, and ATMS currently going with 80 miles an hour. They'll probably catch up in a bit. Here's the latest cone for the National Hurricane Center, and it is all out M's on there, which pretty much indicate that this is going to be a major hurricane for the next five days. Uh, the National Hurricane Center now calling for a 140 mile an hour peak, uh, which would make it a category four uh, in the second of the year, of course. Uh, Barbuda almost in the cone there, but not exactly there. Uh, so there is something that some of the Virgin Islands and Northern Leeward Islands will need to watch in the coming days. Beyond that, uh, the future is a little bit uncertain of whether Bermuda or the U.S. will come into play. Here are the sea surface temperatures ahead of SAM. They look around 28 to 29 degrees Celsius. Although the temperatures are a little bit warmer the more south of the track it stays on. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens uh, with that. But other than that, it's some really good temperatures regardless of what occurs. Um, here are the intensity models and you can see what's going on here. Uh, most of the models pretty much indicating an upper end cat 3 or low end cat 4 at this point. Wind shear is low, but it is expected to slowly rise and hit the double digits around the 28th uh, or low 29th. Regardless, it's going to be staying low. Sea surface temperatures will remain steady, and mid-level relative humidity will slowly decline in the next five days. That's probably going to be the biggest factor that will keep it from uh, reaching its biggest uh, intensity there. Here it is on satellite. It is having fun poking its eye out at this point. Uh, Definitely organizing rapidly over the last several hours here, uh, and it could be stronger than 100 miles an hour at this point, but of course there's not really enough uh, evidence to go further at this point, but needless to say it is going to be a pretty powerful hurricane, and one that stays powerful for several days. We'll keep you in the loop as to what goes on with this hurricane, of course with future storm updates. After all, with the fact that we're almost done with the naming list, who knows what'll happen next.